All right, so I'm going to do just a really quick video on how to do a little bit of surface modeling in SOLIDWORKS. Now, to be honest, you can just look this up on the internet and on YouTube and you'll get a lot better videos than this. But this is just really straightforward on, on, on a lot of the techniques that I use. So just anywhere, you're going to be working with 3D sketches here. So I'm going to just draw a bit of a daft panel here just so you get an idea. So the spleen tool is where you're going to be working with. Look at the size of that. Um, so you, you kind of keep looking at things from different angles. And you can build a panel this way, so I'll, I'll build something out like that, fair enough. I'll actually put straight edge along there. So 3D sketches always are the way to go. This sort of thing. So what is this doing? Okay, looks a bit more reasonable. Um, grab that there, maybe. So when you're doing a spleen, that looks like a straight line, right? And it still is a straight line when I bring it around here. But because it's a spleen, you can click on it and you can pull these lines and you can bend it so sometimes you don't need to keep uh making um bends in it and you can add add spleen points by you know insert spleen point so the spleen is a very powerful tool in um solidworks so let me just uh put maybe a bit of a thing in there and another thing in there so that's a bit of a kind of a weird 3d panel that i've made so how do i i surface model that well the most important tool that you might use, and you'll see this from other videos, is the boundary surface or the lofted surface. Now, the boundary surface is really good. So you choose, so get your selection manager in here, be working with this, and select multiple group. Select him, and then I'll select another one. So see these two guys are kind of parallel to each other, or, you know, they're just in kind of, yeah, parallel. That's the way to look at it. And then I'm going to select other guys, direction two, and these guys will be going in a separate direction. So see this to see the way I'm working the selection manager here. Right, that's not as far as I want to go though. So I want to come down here. So see these purple points, you can drag them to where you actually want them. So see how they're still purple as well, even when I drag them. So they need to completely disappear if you're actually on the points. Look, see how they're gone. So you want to be aware of that. Okay, so I can make that boundary surface. Cool. So that's the idea there. Um let's let's make a bit more on this panel. So let's get another uh, 3D sketch going here. Uh, 3D sketch. Um, let's get a, a bit more maybe. Let's do maybe a base panel on this guy. So there, and I'm gonna make a, a bit of a weird come around to, oh Jesus. So you should always look at these from three dimensions to make sure that they're doing what you want them to do. That still looks ridiculous. Still not great. No, so that's just not working out that one. So I'll just make another one of them. Hopefully this one cops on. Yep. Not the worst. Okay. Sound right. So yeah, I kind of want that to be a spleen. So I'll make that going from there to there. And then I'll put a bit of a bend in it. Okay, so that's a bit of a weird panel there. Same again, come in here with your boundary surface. I don't know if I can, so a very important thing in your sketch is convert entities. So I want to convert this edge here. Well, it's going to convert the whole thing there, so fair enough. Or, yeah, that's a straight line. So you can convert a previous sketch by coming in here, click show, and you can see the parts of it. So I'll get another surface going here. Boundary surface, select this edge. That's enough. Select this edge, that's enough and there so this looks easy but let me tell you depending on the way you go about this some of these surface modeling can be very difficult so you can see this weird panel come together and i can close it off so one thing i can't last comment i'm just going to move on from this i'm not going to spend too long on this surface modeling is don't try and make um sheets that have three edges on it so look at this one two three okay avoid that you can see that some of the video tutorials will tell you that you can get around it, and there are ways i did make panels with three sheets but to ideally not be in that business and to kind of if i want that panel you'll see that there's errors if you did try and do it you know just try and come out here with four pieces and it's much much easier to create a panel there now so once again is that still showing just make sure i can see all those so I clicked hide, so click show and show, just so I can see them all when I'm highlighting here for boundary surface. So now that I've made this a four panel, it'll be much easier um, 
four edge, sorry, be much easier to create the panel in there. Whereas if it was three, it would just be pretty hard. So you can see probably the purple dots here are there. Um, and of course, <laughs> that edge didn't go on this edge here. But, um, let's actually use that as a go. So I'll create that panel. And I'm going to come in here and edit the sketch that it's on. There's that one there. And I'm going to click him. See, can I get him break his connection there? And see, can I get him onto here? Ooh, shouldn't be on any of them to be honest. Alrighty then, that'll do. Okay, and I can end that sketch. So that's that panel done there, whatever purpose you'd have. But that's a bit of a surface modeling there. So remember, kind of keep the four edges on your panels and use the boundary surface, and you can just about make whatever you're looking for. Okay, thanks guys. That's a nice introductory for uh, surface modeling in SolidWorks. Um, so definitely stay away from three edge parts and learn what all these different tools do here for you. Filled surface is a really valuable one as well. And when you actually get a closed surface, you want to knit these surfaces together. So I don't have a closed surface, but you then want to create a solid. And a solid is very important for uh, SolidWorks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just end that there, right? And then I'll show you some of the surface modeling that I've done on parts. So I surface modeled this entire trailer. Um, so all those parts there, I've surface modeled them. Um, so I'll give you an example of some of these. So let's have a look at this panel. Um, when you're, as I said, there's way more videos, but you should always draw just half a car and then mirror the other half over. So don't try and, and draw this panel and this panel. Just draw one of them and mirror it through the uh, plane in the middle. All right, uh, so let's just have a look at some of this, the way I'm drawing these. So see me there, I drew this line down here. You should always um, make them into, like that's just one line and I've made a sketch from it. That's one line, I made a sketch from it. So keep making loads of different sketches rather than trying to fit these all into one 3D sketch. And so that's a panel there, this panel here, look. Four sketches for its lines, one, two, three, and four on the bottom. So definitely you can have a play with your lines like that. And what I would have done is then I would have got knit surface. I would have knitted all them surfaces together along with my entire trailer and created a solid. And that would have made the entire inside of that a solid. So definitely um, surface modeling is very important. And yeah, you definitely want to, to practice it up and learn a bit more about it in some more extensive videos on, on YouTube. So one thing you want to stay away from as well, I mentioned it, is sharp edges um, because, you know, your mesh won't be able to resolve them. So they're fine, these kind of edges. But like if I had them coming out to see this here, like see that angle there, that might be like, I don't know, maybe 100 degrees. But if that was like 10 degrees, and this was like a really, I don't know, let me try and sketch it. Like a real point like that, you know, that's not great for 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 trying to mesh. So definitely try and stay away from uh, sharp edges. Okay, that's grand. And you know, that's that's a typical uh, trailer that I would have modeled up, and I would have brought that in then and attached it to the van here. So I would have exported that um, as a part, meshed it in here in an assembly. And then when you want to bring a part like this into a uh, space claim, you want to, yeah, I'll, do, I'll keep that for another video. Okay, All right, that's, that's perfect guys, right? That's how you do service modeling and a little bit of tutorial on SOLIDWORKS. Thanks.